All right, so told you I'd build a welder, and I'm gonna build a welder. So I'm most familiar with the AC Delco stuff, and um, the one that I the the one alternator that I recommend for doing a welder project would be uh, mid '80s vintage Delco. Uh, not the it's an internally regulated alternator. Not the 70s uh, style alternator. They'll, I mean, they're similar, but they are different. And telltale signs are the back and the cooling fins in the back. This is where the regulators are at, you know, or the bridge rectifiers are at. And you see the difference in the, the venting in the back. And this is the one I'm looking for. And when you're doing a welder project, you want to have something that uh, puts out some amperage. Um, the one that I originally did was one that I had laying around, and um, this one is a 60, 66 amps, and that would probably be at the low end of what you wanted to use. Turn around here so I can see what I'm doing. Um, This one isn't a very good candidate at all. Um, you could build one out of, out of this, but uh, this one is only a 55 amp. And the good thing about these old AC Delcos is they got all the data uh, stamped right into the casting. So if you look at the, this is where the um, the bolt will go on the, this is the mounting part right here that mounts in the bracket, and this is the part that you adjust like this. And this is the bolt that cinches down on the adjusting arm. So you, you know, tighten up the belt and then tighten this bolt up. And right behind it is all the data that you need to know. You know, it's 12 volt negative ground, 55 amps, and the part number on there. So it's easy to tell what you got just by looking at the numbers here and it's on the Delcos. This one's a 66 amp, 7800 for a project later on but um, yeah so this is the one I'm going to do um, if you ever rebuilt a starter an alternator if you ever replaced the brushes in an alternator or starter you could do this modification it's not really a, in fact you're you're removing parts you're not adding parts to the thing so basically what you're doing is you're taking the voltage regulating part of it out and removing some of the comp electrical components in here so that engine speed is going to determine how many volts this thing puts out. It's only going to put out uh, the, the amount of amps that the thing is designed for, but it's going to uh, be unregulated voltage-wise. So you're never going to be able to use this to charge your battery again. You'll just burn your battery up. It probably will explode, but <laughs> once this modification is made, you need to make sure that it's marked. This isn't an alternator, you know, so somebody doesn't inadvertently try to hook it up as an alternator and end up you know, burning up their electrical system. That would suck. So, what you want to do is you want to take the, the pulley and the, uh, and the uh, fan off of it and then separate the halves. Take the armature off. We're taking all the bolts out. Then inside there, you know, take those three bolts or the three nuts off the, the bridge rectifier that hold the windings in and take the windings out, like so. Now I got this, this page off of John's place, his Jeep page, and I'll put the, the uh, URL in my description. I'll reference my sources and give credit where credit's due. I'm just a, I'm just a wrench turner, I'm not an engineer. So. What you want to do is remove this exciter diode and the voltage regulator 
you're going to remove this entirely from the uh, from the alternator itself. You're just going to modify one of the screws that holds this uh, voltage regulator in there. And I copied that because it's a really good reference. And you want to take the plastic shield that's on that bolt and throw it away. Better yet, here's a here's a here's a good idea. And I did it with the other alternator, but I ended up throwing the parts away last week when I cleaned out my toolbox. Keep all these parts in a Ziploc bag in your glove compartment. If you're out in the field, if your alternator burns up, you just put these pieces back in, and you got an extra alternator you're carrying around anyway as a welder. You keep, just keep the extra parts with you. You're, you're not physically changing at all the, the components in here. You're just taking pieces out so you can put the pieces back together and have an alternator. So that's something to think about if you want to do it with a little plastic bolt. I'll show you in the, in the video. And then in, in this particular alternator, there's a couple other pieces that you need to remove. Got that off uh, John's Place Jeep's page. It's on uh, cb4x4.com. Uh, onboard welder, uh, weldernator. You just run weldernator in the search box and this will probably come up. But it's really well illustrated. They go through the whole step-by-step -step process. And this is what I used when I did my original one. And it, it goes through and it illustrates, you know, exactly what components need to need to be removed. But in my endless search for information, I couldn't find a video. So that's why I'm making this one. throw the moth away. So we're going to take this exciter diode out of the out of the mix. It's going away. And then this little plastic shield here is going to be removed from this screw. It's a little, a little plastic sheath. Try not to bust it. It's going to be kind of tricky to get out. Okay, well, this one got wrecked. So if I wanted to, I want to scrap one of my other alternators, that's all right. I've been carrying this crap around for 20 years. I need to get rid of some of it anyway. But if you can save that piece, save it. And uh, put it in a Ziploc bag, throw it in your glove box, and, and take these components with you. If your alternator ever goes bad, then you can take your alternator part out in the field if, you, if you're smart enough to bring a toolbox with you and uh, put the components back in and problem solved, fix your alternator. So, If it's the same alternator that's in the car, that's something to remember too. Okay, so take the bolts out, move the regulator, brush holder. That's the piece, you either throw in a Ziploc bag or throw it in the trash. See, my alternator didn't have this piece, and it's like a little piece of ceramic with a fine wire around it that's uh, bolted to this here thing. And then this is, I can't see it. This is the capacitor that's in that newer model uh, alternator, and mine has the older style um, cylindrical capacitor. You want to take that out too.
I'm just going to put the screws back in. Take the still capacitor out. Screw that held it in place back in. Because I'm going to keep the parts in the car. So if I burn up an alternator, I'm not foobarred. And while I'm this far, I think I'm just going to throw a little fresh grease in. I should find my grease. Okay, got some grease in the bearing. And let's see. Put the uh, where the, the, the plug goes. This is how you energize the thing. So, and this is the brush carrier. Ouch. Okay, put the springs back in. And before I started the video, I pulled the alternator apart and, and I pulled the brush springs out so that I could uh, get the armature back in without actually having it's easier to put the brushes back in behind the springs when this is out of the alternator than trying to fish my big stubby fingers inside the alternator and shove them in there. So that's why you saw me put the springs in, but you didn't see me take them out. And that little wire needs to go into that slot and uh, make sure that that's not binding and pinched, otherwise you'll fry this and nothing will work. You need to put that in there like that and get yourself a little drill bit or a little piece of wire. What the hell did I do with my drill bit? Just use another one. And there's a hole that goes all the way through. Then there's a hole that goes all the way through the back that the drill bit will slide into. Right. And you got one bolt here that's got a, a wide collar on it that'll go in the big hole right here. That's for this alternator. I don't know, it might vary from alternator to alternator. The one with the shielding collar, the little plastic shielding collar, that'll go in the top corner. One that uh, has the collar that you remove that'll go in the lower. Down now. Sorry for the language. I just broke the damn screw. Fortunately, I have another alternator. <laughs> Be right back.